This is a video about getting 5.1 surround sound audio into Premiere so that you can edit it. Normally I strip the audio out because of the way Premiere handles audio, it conforms it and it makes you just enormous, enormous files. It's like 200 300 gigabytes in the media cache and it's just impossible on a laptop but i've just got this drive so i've got the space finally to um have the audio and the video together so i can do some proper editing with the sound so but when it comes in like this let's just open this this is what you get you just get two channels this is just stereo audio right which is no good at all what we want is five one which is six channels which exists in the file you just have to right click or control click modify audio channels and then this is a bit counterintuitive choose mono and then change this to six all the channels of appear yes yes now if we go back everything's here but more importantly doing it this way if we then use this this is this is the video, right? Right, but we can just look at the waveform that way. And we'd bring it down. Look, all the different parts. It just it it'll just add them as audio tracks. You can name them and stuff if you want to. But these are all individually editable. Right? So you can delete most of them. You probably will want to delete most of them and just add the bit, the little bit that you want, like say if you want the hit or you want the drums or you want um, the whooping or whatever, you find that on the right channel and then just add that. And then you don't have to do a lot of messing around in Audacity or whatever or trying to do like centre channel lift and extract and all that kind of stuff. You can just get it out of the surround sound. It's much easier and faster. Okay, that's that. That's my tip. Bye.